Well, time to turn back to weather now. It's such a nice day today, but we know it's not going to last much longer. Let's head over to meteorologist Robert. Sir, we've got a, a wet St. Patty's Day evening. Some of that rain going into Friday as well, right? Yeah, tomorrow's not going to be fun. It's going to be a miserable, raw, cold, windy day out there. So you'll need to pull that jacket back out, folks. I'm sure you've stuffed it away in the closet with how nice the weather's been this week, but bring it back out tomorrow. It is an impact night out there as well as an impact morning. So 8 o'clock tonight through noon on Friday. That's when we're thinking the biggest impacts will be. We're watching for showers to develop probably around sunset. A couple of stray thunderstorms certainly possible, but the best threat for any severe weather will be confined to mainly southeastern sections of the River Valley as well as southeastern sections of Oklahoma. I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's it's all developing out ahead of this area of low pressure system. You see a severe thunderstorm watch for central Oklahoma. Not included in that are our eastern Oklahoma counties here. Just one severe thunderstorm warning way out across uh, western portions of Oklahoma. Right now it's really nice outside, mostly in the lower to mid 70s across northwest Arkansas. Meanwhile, in the River Valley still hanging on to 80 in Boonville, 79 in Fort Smith, 77 in Van Buren. But we can say goodbye to these comfortable temperatures come tomorrow. So as we go hour by hour around sunset, that's when we're thinking we'll start to see the first of the shower and thunderstorm activity, and that will grow in coverage as we go through the evening hours. Now, once we get to midnight, I think that will cut off the severe potential. Once we get on the other side of midnight, the atmosphere won't be as primed up and juicy. So just general thunderstorms for Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. They could continue into early tomorrow morning. Once the front crosses, it will turn much colder and quite windy behind it with leftover showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but just a drizzly, cloudy, raw day. Very cool out there tomorrow and even Friday. You can see that by six o'clock Friday night, only in the 40s out there. Best chance for severe weather is basically west of a Tulsa to Fort Smith to Waldron line. We're talking about damaging wind gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour, maybe some golf ball size hail. A very, very not a zero tornado threat, but extremely slim that chance for a tornado here. Mostly a heavy rain event here, but can't roll out damaging winds and some large hail. Like I said, tornado is very, very low. Here's that hail threat you can see suppressed to our south uh, and west across the River Valley, uh, like I was saying, and that's even just a 5% threat. But heavy rain, three quarters of an inch to an inch could fall by the time everything is wrapped up by tomorrow. Lows tonight, not too bad, mostly in the upper 40s. These numbers will be reached probably right after midnight. We'll see falling temperatures throughout the day. So at 7 a.m. we'll be in the upper 40s by the afternoon, mid 40s as we continue to fall through northwest Arkansas. But the weekend we rebound very, very quickly. Great first day of spring. Then another system rolls in here that could bring us even more heavy rain, more rain than what we are seeing uh, tonight. Come Monday, that could lag into Tuesday and possibly Wednesday. Kind of a miserable start to spring, unfortunately, Brandon. In the River Valley, about the same thing. Uh, not a fun night tonight. A nice weekend before more rain and potential storms for the River Valley to open up next week. All right, thanks, Robert.